Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to get custom themes on your Nintendo 3DS. Your 3DS will need to be homebrewed to do this. If your 3DS isn't homebrewed, you can find out how by using the link below. This method is completely free. You don't have to buy any from the theme shop like you usually would. Here are some examples of the themes that you can download for free. There's Mario themes, Kirby themes, Super Smash Bros themes and Bonzi Buddy? Any game that's on the 3DS, there's probably a theme for it, and even movies and TV shows. Now that you've seen some examples, let's install some themes on your 3DS. Open the homebrew launcher as normal by powering on your 3DS and holding the L button and opening the homebrew launcher. There should be a homebrew app named CHMM2, a theme manager for the 3DS. If you don't see this app in your homebrew launcher, you can find the link for it below. Now let's get started. Take the SD card out from your 3DS and put it into your PC. Go to this website which is linked below. You can see here there are really thousands of themes. There's so many of them, so you'll have to look for your own theme. I can't show them all. In the top left corner, there's a magnifying glass icon. If you click it, you can search for a theme. Now let's find a good theme and download it. Here's one called Windows XP. If you press the play button that's on the website, you can listen to the music that will play when you're on the home menu. Let's install the Windows XP theme for this tutorial. Download the theme, then extract the zip file to your desktop. Inside, there is a README and a preview. Look at the preview just in case you get any themes mixed up. Open the 3DS SD card using File Explorer and look for the theme folder that's on the root of the 3DS SD card. You can see the themes that I used for the example in here. Drag the theme and put it into the themes folder on the 3DS SD card. That's all you have to do on the computer. Now eject the 3DS SD card or close the micro SD management software on the 3DS. Now put the SD card back into your 3DS and turn it on. You can see that you've still got the same theme as you had before. That's because we have to install it now. Turn your 3DS off and open the homebrew launcher like we did before. Now that you're in the homebrew launcher, open the app named CHMM2. After it loads, you can see all the themes that you have on your 3DS SD card. Use the D-pad to scroll through the themes. When you see the theme that you just downloaded, press A while it's selected and it will install. Wait about 10 seconds, then press start and select exit, then press A. It will then take you back to the homebrew launcher. On the homebrew launcher, press start, then press A, and it will reboot your 3DS.
Now you can see that the theme you just installed has been applied to your 3DS home menu. Well, that's all for today. My name is Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.